would you write your name for me? I don't have a pen. That's right, right? So what's happening? The guys before, they were selling the product, they were giving the solutions. This is a good solution for all these things. But you don't give a fuck because those are not your problems, right? What he's saying is, okay, write your name. He's giving a goal, you have a goal of writing the name. A problem, I don't have my pen. Now I'm interested in a, in a pen, right? Only, and, and actually, like there's a video, I don't have time to show it, but uh, Jordan Belfort, the actual person who sells, uh, who's uh, inspired, who's impersonated by uh, DiCaprio here, um, uh, he explains this. Bad salespeople start by explaining solutions, and good salespeople start by listening. They're asking, they're trying to understand what is it that the customer needs, because otherwise you cannot sell. This is an example of a customer for a, for a, for a course that I give on, on communication before the course. The Mulago Solutions Fund, a portfolio of high performance organizations with scalable solutions to problems of poverty. What does that mean? I don't get it, right? I don't understand the goal that he's talking about that I want to achieve, I don't understand the problems, and so I'm not interested in the solution, right? Microsoft like a trillion dollar, multi-trillion dollar company, an ad, gain deeper customer insights and drive business growth. What does that mean? What's the goal here? What are the problems that prevent me from achieving those goals? And so even these amazing companies are failing at this basic task of storytelling. This is a better example. This is an example of something that works, right? Seven lines. First to a couple of lines, it's on the go. Okay, processing payments for purchases made on marketplace, like on Gosto, my previous company. Okay, good. But problem, it can be costly, manual, and time consuming. Okay, so how do I solve this? Well, with these instant bank payments and payouts, you can reduce your overall operational, blah, 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 blah. In seven lines, goals, problems, and solution, and this is a good one. Uh, the Sequoia um, pitch deck advice uh, that most entrepreneurs follows has the same structure, right? The company purpose really is the customer problem, is the customer goal that they want to achieve, but there's a problem that the customer today cannot achieve those goals. The solution is the customer solution. How are we gonna create a product that's good for them? So the first three parts of the Sequoia pitch are the customer side of goals, problem, solution. The problem when you, have, when you have a company is that you have two sides. You need to create value for the customer and then you need to capture some of it. And so first you focus on the customer and then how do you capture the value for yourself? And you have the same structures. The details of the goal, the company is always to make money, right? So how big the market size is, is a proxy for how much money they can make. Uh, the competition is the problem. How can I beat others in capturing as much of that market? And then everything else is the solution, how I'm going to achieve uh, uh, beating the, the, the competition. Same structure that I used in this uh, article that got 50 million views, this is the beginning, the coronavirus is coming to you, it's coming at an exponential rate. Gradually, then suddenly. It's a matter of days, maybe a week or two. Blah, 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 blah. Exhausted healthcare workers will break down. Some will die. They will have to decide which patient gets the oxygen and which one dies. The only way to solve this is social distancing today. So what am I doing here? If I come and say, we should all social di socially distance today, nobody's gonna pay attention to me because people don't care about the solution. But people care about having a healthy society. And so when I tell them their society is going to go to shit, they pay attention, they understand the problem, and now they want to listen to the solution. So rule number one is clear goals and problems. Because everybody focuses on the, on the solutions, but you cannot focus on the solutions if you don't have the goals and problems clear. So how do we apply this, for example, for, for social media? Right? There's a formula on social media. People are, are be going there to be engaged, and they might even e either need want entertainment, or they might want insights. And they want that at the lowest possible cost. So how do you apply what I just said to social media? Well, so this is an example. The, uh, when you're in social media, and you, what I'm focusing on is teaching, right? So it's on the insights side. I want to make a promise 
within a few seconds that I'm going to teach you something that matters to you that you don't know about. So I need to break your perception of how the world works. And that's what I do. The Mediterranean Sea was dry five million years ago. Wait, what? It wasn't full, always there? Interesting. And then it filled in a matter of months through a mega float. Oh, I had no idea this is how the world worked. You're about to teach me something that I didn't know. I want to know more. So goals and problems first, and then I explain the solutions. Same thing after this, right? This one got, what, 20 million views, 20, 20, 22 million views. The first sentence is, you have a distorted perception of the world because of the maps. I'm going to give you some examples. Here, a lot of people have heard that 50% of humans live in this circle. OK, that's something that you already know. But I'm, go I'm going to tell you, actually, there's only one thing that has caused all of this. Oh, wow. I did not understand how the world works. I want to understand it. Now I'm ready for you to tell me all the details. 